In this video, we'll be doing a problem that involves angles of elevation or depression. When we talk about the angle of elevation, we're talking about the angle that's formed with the horizon, and then our uh, terminal side is moving counterclockwise and going up. So the angle of elevation is this angle right here, formed by the horizon and this terminal side. When we're talking about the angle of depression, again, we need the horizon, which is a horizontal line, but the angle of depression is formed by moving the terminal side clockwise or going down. The problem that we'll be doing is the angle of depression from the top of a tree to a point on the ground 15.5 meters from the base of the tree is 60.4 degrees and we're asked to find the height of the tree. Now before I draw a sketch let's look at our significant digits. We see that this measurement has three significant digits and this angle of depression also has three significant digits. So we have a tree, here's our ground and our tree and the angle of depression from the top of the tree to a point on the ground. So from the top of the tree angle of depression we first need our horizon and then we need to go down and the angle of depression right here is 60.4 degrees. Um, the point on the ground is 15.5 meters from the base of the tree, so that means the distance here is 15.5 meters. And um, we're looking for the height of the tree, so let's call that H. Now we need to um, remember about parallel lines. We know that um, the horizon right here is parallel to the ground. So we can use what we know about alternate interior angles to state that if this angle is 60.4, then this angle is also 60.4 degrees. Or you can um, know that this angle up here is 90, and you can subtract 60.4 from 90 to get this measure. Either way is fine. Um, but you need to have an angle inside the right triangle to solve it. I'll use this 60.4 and we know that the side opposite is H and the side adjacent is 15.5. So the trig function that uses opposite and adjacent is tangent. So I would say the tangent of 60.4 degrees is equal to opposite H over adjacent 15.5. Now to get H by itself, multiply both sides by 15.5. These will cancel, and I'll have H is equal to this product. Make sure we're in degrees. 
and our product is 15.5 times the tangent of 60.4. Close my argument and hit equal. So h is, and we need three significant digits, so we'll go with 27.3. and the unit of measure is meters.